Hi, doll. You have clicked on Life in the 1900s newspapers, and we're in the 20s. They had a different way of talking in the 20s, so this video will have some 1920s slang in it. Let's start with this young lady. Wow, she has some nice gams. And motorcycle fans need to check out that early Harley Davidson. Hey, you too could be a billboard if you got yourself a motorcycle. Or as they used to call it, an iron. Our newspaper mentions auto accidents, and if yours got in an accident, it would be spitchered. What happened to all that glass after the accident? Well, in California, there was a department called the Broken Glass Department, who would come and do the cleanup. Ooh, even one on a Harley Davidson. Even the scorchers, Flatfoots and Fuzz would use motorcycles. This one's using an Indian motorcycle. Just look at this Flatfoot in action. He sure is tearing up the road at over 40 miles per hour. I think this policeman is no milk toast. Well, give me a moment to grab my cheaters and we'll read today's paper. We will be reading the Denver Express from Denver, Colorado, dated Tuesday, October 11th, 1921. Girl admits to 46 robberies. Portland, Oregon, October 11th. It's a cinch, says pretty blue-eyed Pearl Good, 17, who has confessed to 46 robberies to the Portland police, with every indication that the number of homes entered might mount higher. Her plunder consisted of perfumes, rouge, artificial flowers, money, clothing, jewelry, even Christmas tree ornaments. She is one of a hard-working family of eight children, is entirely average in dress, manner, and speech, but not at all hard-boiled. Her case will be studied by a psychiatrist. In nearly every one of her robberies, entry was made by a latch keys, and she says the average housewife leaves her door keys hidden in places most easily discovered. Car hits auto, then burns. A collision between a tram car and a small sedan driven by J.S. Brown, 433 Franklin Street, at 6th and Williams Streets Tuesday, resulted in the concussion of a brain and other serious injuries for Brown. Police patrol took Brown immediately to his home. Motorcycle officer Davis says the auto attempted to cut in front of the tram car but did not make it. The sudden application of the brakes by the motorman of the car resulted in the short circuiting of the wires starting a fire that burned away the heavy timbers underneath the car. Brown will live, physicians say. Booze hound. Rabbit hunters sometimes find other game than cottontails. Federal prohibition agents under the director, McClenahan, Monday night, swooped down on a lone cabin hidden in a gulch near Watkins. They seized a still and 525 gallons of sugar mash. The cabin was so well secreted, 
McClenahan had doubts if it would have been discovered for some time had it not the rabbit hunter's dog pointed the way. He asked the hunters to donate the dog to the cause of prohibition, but didn't succeed in getting his booze hound. In the 20s, companies liked to advertise contests with prizes. In this one, it says find two mistakes in this ad, misspellings, turn in the corrections and you can win first prize, $1.50 in Colorado made goods, second prize, a dollar in Colorado made goods. Prosperity is coming, just as sure as you are a foot high, and it's up to everyone to go out and meet it. We are going to start the ball rolling towards prosperity with a marvelous underpriced sales at Golden Eagle Dry Goods. Look at all these happy couples. In the 20s, when you got a wedding ring, it was called a manacle. Did you hear about the best man who stood up to do his toast and he said, eggs, cinnamon, bread, and maple syrup? Why did he say that? Well, it was French toast. <laughs> Thanks for watching my channel, and I'd love to hear your comments. I'll end this video with tips for those men out here who are looking for a lady to get shackled with, or fall into the Parsons mouse trap, or tie the knot, take the plunge. Here we go. Miss Adams, take a letter. If you're looking for a sweetheart cause you're lonely and you want someone to love and adore, write a letter to our company and we'll send by mail just the girl you're looking for. You'll be more than satisfied with our selection of the ones we'll send for your inspection.